12th tonight, counting down the days until a new school year starts. You may be ready, but is your child here to talk about that? Is Dr. Eric Ali, a psychologist at Boston Children's Hospital. It's early August. We don't have to go it's, yet. No, we? the clock is ticking. Oh, it really is. So great to see you, Dr. Lee. Question one. Let's start with the kids that are heading to kindergarten, right? In, in your opinion, one of the most important skills they need to have before the first day, because what, what's the old book? What do the old books say? You learned everything you need to know in kindergarten. Yep. Transition to kindergarten is a big one, so this is a great question because everyone's always thinking about things like, does my child know the alphabet, do they know how to count, that kind of thing. That is important, but really I want parents to be thinking about their child's social and emotional skills because those are just as important. You know, can they get along with other kids? Can they play with other kids? Can they follow directions? Can they use their words if they're having a hard time or if they need help? Because those skills are often the foundation for any kind of successful learning, and these are things families can practice with their kids all the way up to the first day of school and every day after. Uh, doctor, some kids have a harder time making friends than others, so if you're a parent, when do you worry? Yeah, it can be hard to make friends. You know, often when I talk to parents about things like social skills, when you break it down, social skills is a really big category. Things like starting a conversation with somebody else, keeping it going, resolving a disagreement, taking somebody else's perspective. If you have a child who has a hard time navigating social situations, try to identify what you think is going on. Is it that they're shy and they're nervous around other kids? Mm -hmm. um, do they have a hard time taking turns? Is it just actually that they're not that interested in what other kids have to say or what they're interested in? Um, you can figure out what it is that your kid needs to learn, and then you can help them practice practice those skills because all kids need practice. Well, it, some kids may need some help from their pediatrician or a social skills group, but it's absolutely something they can learn. Well, Dr. Lee, as you well know, the, the social stakes are even higher when the kids move to middle school. So, so what do parents need to know? Yeah, middle school, brutal. brutal. It's a tough time. We all remember those middle school years for exactly that reason. Kids are undergoing so many cognitive, physical, and social changes. Academic expectations are going up. And just as you described with social skills, fitting in feels especially important during this year's. This is actually a time when I say to parents that maintaining open lines of communication with trusted adults and trying to shore up your kid's self-esteem can feel really meaningful. You want them to know that if they need to, they can come to you. You'll be there openly to listen without judgment. But then also parents, try not to get offended if they want to talk to their friends more than they want to talk to you. <laughs> Great point, Dr. Yes, Lee. it is. Dr. Lee, thank you so much. Great Be to well. See you. Take care. Thank you.